What up guys, it's Marty Blends and today I'm gonna teach you how to cut your own hair straight from home but the first thing I'm gonna need you to have is a barber kit. If you don't already have a barber kit or you're barely starting off, I have a video right up here to guide you through the cheapest barber kit there is for the best price. So currently this is what I've been rocking with and I don't even know what it is at this point so we're just gonna be going with a mid fade with a crop top on top. So let's get right into it. Now the first thing you want to take into consideration is the angle and placement of your mirrors. In this case, I do have two mirrors which is more than enough. Like always, moisten up your hair and make sure it's damp enough to be able to section with ease. Okay, clip away the top portion so it doesn't interfere. You now want to grab your preferred trimmer and create a baseline. Since I am going for a mid drop, you'll see me drop it towards the back contouring it to my head shape. Also notice how I am being cautious and working at a slow pace. You now want to remove everything left underneath. Alright, for a cleaner look, slowly remove all the stubble using a shaver. With your clipper fully open, create a half inch guideline all around. I do suggest you do each step all around the head because it's easy to get lost when it comes to self cuts. Work patiently and make sure both sides look similar. Okay, now slap on the one and a half open, but this time create a four inch guideline. Remember to flick out if you want that darkness up top. Guys, I do like my blends pretty tight, so make bigger guidelines if you want a longer blend. Be very cautious with it and take your time. With the number 2 open, get rid of any excess bulk above. Again, flicking out, not pressing into the scalp. With the half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline. Guys, you'll probably have to move the mirror around, but what really helps me is placing it further away when it comes to working on the back. Now fully open your lever with the same size guard and create another half inch guideline above. As you can see, I'm barely even removing some hair because of how cautious I'm being. With the number one, break the line between the dark and light area. After this step, more than likely you'll be able to see your blend coming in nicely. Also guys, you wanna make sure you use plenty of corners to make sure that fade comes out looking detailed.
Guys, this step is really important, but I did come back with my lever open no guard and just touched up any line I was able to see between our first guy line and the rest of the fade. A bit of detail and finally close up the lever fully and hit that last bottom baseline you're able to see. If you do have a hard time removing the baseline you can always use a trimmer or stretch out the skin to make sure your blade gets a little deeper closer to the scalp. To get rid of any imperfections on the dark area of the fade, I do freehand but be very careful not to move when doing so. Guys, at this moment, I do want to say thank you to everyone who tunes in and shows love. I truly appreciate all of you. If you guys do happen to want translucent guards like the set I used in this video, make sure you visit MartyBlends.com. Again, you will have some difficulty trying to cut your own hair, especially if it's your first time, but just know that the more you do something, the better you get at it. Honestly speaking, this can save you so much time and money, so it's worth learning. I do suggest you use hairspray to hold your hair in place while you're lining up. As for beards, I do have an entire tutorial on how to line up and fade, so stay tuned for that. Now the top portion of my hair was really bothering me from all the length so I decided to give myself a crop top. Basically meaning everything at an equal length and laying forward. Guys, here is the final look on today's self-cut. If you did enjoy this tutorial or learn anything from me today, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.